Hey guys, um, this is Niche, um, it's just updated, I've just updated it rather, for the May update, so it's now 0.3.3 rather than 0.3.0 I had last time I was recording, but unfortunately that then means that the save file I did have for this is not, um, compatible anymore so as a result we're gonna have to start anew and we're then just gonna call it Strixia 2 just following it on from last one and just jumping straight into it small little island okay so we have a tree over here but to leave is the port is here so but again here we have the welcome to niche message um, this game about survival um, etc but a new feature is this um, warm weather in which case weather and temperatures now been implemented as well as seasons so there will be a time where the bushes will go darker it will go a bit brown colour that will then be autumn and or winter and I'm not 100% sure, I don't know much but you can also see if we look down the bottom here there's a few bits of extra information it's given us so cold resistance which is because she's got the big body which she had anyway also this, defence defence is a new thing instituted the she has because of big body um, it also shows um, an immunity here and this as well is a new feature um, fertility so the ability to produce offspring um, they may have the gene um, the immunity genes we need or poison fangs or cracker jaw something like that if they have that it might not be possible because they might not ha be fertile so that's something else we need to look out for and there are a few other differences but mostly things staying the same um, these are what I unlocked in different save file so that's another new th thing is that genetics you unlock in each save file goes through so that is that um, so let's just quickly see how gene F so gene G and F and A and B Okay, so genes aren't, we're not going to try to worry about so much. Yes, it is still important, but if it gets to the point where they're struggling for getting genes, we're going to keep it small. We're going to then not brood as much because, as well, that will save our food. But we, who's better at collecting? Adam's better at collecting so we get him to collect off that bush and we're gonna mate and that's gonna be it for this turn but oh and now we get the another new implement I should have messed with the this should have messed with this and paid a little bit more close attention to their genes because this is short sightedness and short sightedness so there's just as much an equal chance um, no blindness which is something glad about and no no pause another thing we're looking at is that we can avoid them for the future just not brood anyone with blindness or no pause so it limits the problems we have with finding duties but we can have I'm not really sure what we're after at the moment so we're not actually going to mess with this but we're going to have a look at 
the little younglings. So we have blue eyes and violet eyes on the male and B and F um, for the genes which are going to be this they're not the same they're absolutely actually the complete opposite so in a way those two are perfect breeding pair which is quite interesting um, he is short-sighted and she is not so quite a lot of differences there different patterns as well but generally staying the same so let's see what are these guys good at collecting collecting she's stronger than he is so that's something we can bear in mind he's he's fine he's average with things so that's something we can keep very much in mind I'm just gonna get some exploring done here so we can exp expand the territory a little and then move on and we have a carnival already okay so who is stronger you have two and you have two okay so and because you're venomous that means poisoned because you have movement movement three you can move here I'm going to ignore the stag mole and just attack and just go without food for the moment while we deal with this carnivore or oh, Adam Adam took more damage than was good for but we can do that. This should give us. How many did that give us? Five. That gave us ten. So, what do I, there's another one there. So, we can start. And there's a berry bush there as well. So, we could plant Adam. Oh, let's get out of. If, when we plant Adam there, let's just confirm, yes, we can start collecting from that. So, we've got them, and then we've got these guys, who we can bring down here. And then that'll be it for that, and it's raining, which means... Our bush gets fully replenished. So let's move Adam up there and then him do some harvesting. We can have these guys do some searching as well. So we just have this access way here. And then we could, because none of them have. What's your recessive? Okay, so you have two big nose, which is probably why these two did. And you have two poison fangs, and because poison fangs are very recessive, um, that's obviously why these guys both have big noses with the possibility there. Um, so, yes. Another thing, we can also now search the family tree for specific genes and specific attributes so if we're looking for a fisher we could do that or just this taste for appearance or venomous so you could look up venomous and you could see who's venomous and how venomous they are um, 
you could also do here and do big nose in which case that's green showing the fact that these guys are big nose so you could actually do if you have a rather big family tree you can start looking and see okay what attributes do I want my group to have I'm moving away so hopefully the stag mole will come back out but I think maybe Adam's still too close but I am going to get Adam to start harvesting from the new one because I know that's going to be completely full and Eve here can collect from that and we have who have we got here we got Rorice who's a panda green eyes does have the F and the G which is the same as Adam um, female so let's see we got short big medium we do have um, nimble fingers which could be very helpful um, we then have normal hind legs, we got short sightedness and blind um, it's got the spiky body, doesn't possess a tail um, of course got the panda colorings does have melanism and albinism and suffers from haemophilia um, fertility is fine though but I feel the fact that she's got too many defects or not enough reasons to join the group in comparison to not to leave outside so we're not gonna attack her because um, we don't get meat from that so that would be a waste and we don't mind her being around because we're probably gonna pick off the bushes before she does and we're fine with food for the moment for just the four of them so that's not that's not much of a worry um, for now um, so we're just gonna leave her to that uh, I'm feeling as if we may need to wait a little longer but if she's going in that general direction the stagma won't come up which is a little unfortunate so we're going to have very come down here and we've got another berry bush no doubt one Rorice has fed upon okay so the stag moles out and we're gonna feed or well not feed we're gonna take the berries from there we're gonna remove that <coughs> now that that's like that if we move no I was wondering if we could perhaps move them and also tempted to question whether or not <coughs> we may want to breed Adam and Eve again but you can pick two okay okay so there's Reese sitting in there so we know where she is um warm weather oh that sounds like a rabbit so it may have been okay I've no idea where Reese went she could have went down here because or in there because that's too far away from for us to hear but we have rabbits up at the top which means probably going on a berry bush which means there could be a predator that's come from over here could be a predator over there and there's definitely a um, rabbit mound up there so that's something we may want to consider going to but I think we might already be thinking about coming across and moving to the next island let's just 
grab some more berries. Um. Yes. So if we get Eve to come up here and start going that direction, we can have um, Larice there. And if we get Ronu to come along as well, if we get you to mate with him, I was just about to move him up there. We can move up there so those two can move along that way. Okay, so our little pup this time is this little fellow, um, Van Kerta. I am, um, at the end of this episode, I'm going to give these three um, different names, um, names I've given, I've picked, or, or something someone suggests to me, um, I'm going to do that. So, let's just have a quick look at some of your traits. You do have ram horns there, which you've got from your mother, but no horn seems to be dominant. I right, big nose, so neat. you didn't get the poison. You've got big body, not much of a surprise. You've got runner legs, so you're fast, stealthy, and fairly good at collecting. How fast can you move? I oh, can't tell at the moment, um, but from that it's going to be four. So that is something. Um, he has normal eyes, so that's fine. has a normal tail. He's beige with spots with brown Black eyes, blue recessive. Uh, see, it's the option to have a grey, grey horns because they're co-dominant, and normal blood clotting. So, he doesn't have hemophilia, but I don't think any of our animals have hemophilia. Anyway, so that's then not a concern, and has the G and F. Um immunities so there's that but I am going to end this part here hope you guys enjoyed it um, sorry again the fact that I had to start a new tribe pride um, pack I'm not sure really what these guys are called as a group I I'm probably going to come up with something, but um, I have got a theory video um, about these guys, so I'm, if I remember, I may leave the description to that below, but if not, you can find it on my channel, just go to my videos and it should be have been up fairly recently um so yes that's what i want to say there but i will be coming back with these guys very soon i really love this game if you're interested in getting the game yourself a description to the the address on steam will be in the description below and i'll see you guys in next video. Bye guys!